This video is brought to you by Mubi, a curated streaming service dedicated to elevating great cinema from all around the globe. Get a whole month free at Mubi.com slash Lauren. It's springtime. This is the first day in eight days that I've woken up and saw the sun and not a torrential downpour of rain. I would like to thank, I would like to thank Mother Nature. I would like to thank my mind for manifesting this. I think springtime has finally arrived in Paris and I am so happy. I'm gonna be honest, the days have been filled with a lot of cowboy bebop and gamified Tinder swiping, but those days are over. I'm ready to get my ass outside and just enjoy the fresh air and, and live, and live. This coffee's really bad, but I'm gonna drink it anyway because I need it. Don't talk to me until I've had my coffee in the morning. It's not even morning, I think it's, it's I'm not even going to say what time it is because it's embarrassing how late it is. Today I'm just going to have a nice springtime day, my ideal springtime day. And what better to spend my ideal springtime day in the city of Paris? How lucky am I to be able to do that? Uh, I'm going to stop talking. Let's go. First things first, I need to stop and buy a single potato for reasons that I'll explain later. I'm feeling Luxembourg Gardens is the move. I'm going to read a book there, absorb the sun for my pale, transparent skin. It actually never fails. Every time I leave my apartment, I have the, the largest urge to shit and I don't know why. Sunday, so every park, garden, cafe is gonna be packed to the brim because everyone and their mom has nothing better to do because nothing's open, as it should be. But if I could find one of those little green chairs to just sit and chill at in Luxembourg, I would hit the jackpot. I would hit the jackpot. This, another one in the casket. On patate à jardin de Luxembourg. I request of you to ask yourself, when was the last time you sat in Luxembourg Gardens with a potato? Think about it, let it ruminate, evaluate your life choices up to that point. When was the last time? Right. You know, it really gets you thinking. It really gets you thinking. I'm currently reading The Cherry Orchard by Anton Chekhov. It's very good, just started it. When I read plays, I feel like a scholar. I feel like a patron of the arts. This is just so ideal, this is just so lovely. Today is a lovely day, lovely day, love, love, lovely day. Basically, j'aime beaucoup le ciel bleu, basically. God, I slept for 45 minutes. I just passed out. The sun felt so good and I tried tapping my foot repeatedly so like I wouldn't fall asleep 
kind of do like the dolphin thing where like one brain is always awake and one lets you sleep like that's what the vibe I was going for but the whole brain just shut off and I just I just fell asleep I got two hours of sleep last night though woke up at 3 went back to sleep at about 10 you do the math I'm now headed to complete the journey of my potato has anybody here brought a potato to Luxembourg Gardens has anybody ever done that I'm the first okay okay All I'm gonna say, and put this on my gravestone, Apple Maps can suck my ass. Why are you leading me like into a ditch? Like why am I crossing the seven red seas to get to a simple location with a address? Steve Jobs. He's dead, it's not his fault. My destination was Cimetière Montparnasse, which is where the filmmaker Agnes Farda is buried. She's my favorite filmmaker of all time. I actually found all of her movies through Mubi, which is the sponsor of today's video, which I'll talk to you about them later. Amazing platform, but that aside, I figured I would pay her a visit. I did this last summer. She, her films have just meant so much to me. And if I'm being honest now, like in retrospect, probably the reason I moved to Paris because a lot of her films do take place in Paris because this is where she's from and she's buried in her neighborhood that she lived in and I think that's beautiful. The potato is for her because she has a film, a documentary film called The Gleaners and I, which is my favorite documentary of all time. In this film, the potato is such an important uh, icon of the film. So uh, I figured I would bring her a little potato. I think she would like it. I think she would think it's silly and funny because she was silly and funny. Okay, I'm gonna find her grave because this is a large cemetery. <laughs> The amount of peace I find in cemeteries is startling. Like when I die, I place my body in a cemetery. Il joue du violoncelle, tu joues du piano droit. Et moi, et moi, je joue de la prunelle. J'en joue, c'est fou de la prunelle. Tu joues sur ton I found it. She is buried with her husband, Jacques Demy, who is also a prolific filmmaker. That's the kind of love I want. You know, me and who? Me and who sharing a gravestone. I say that as I'm a 24-year-old sitting in a cemetery on a Sunday when my peers are probably out socializing, but I'm gonna write a message on a potato instead. What's wrong with that? I'll put my potato right there. Those are the other potatoes people left. That one looks like a heart. That's beautiful. And now, potato no longer in hand, I continue my spring day journey throughout the city of Paris. What will I do next? Perhaps take another nap. Who knows? I actually absolutely know what I'm going to do next. I'm going to go back into my part of the city on the other side of the river, uh, Rive Droite, the right, right river. And I'm gonna get some postcards to write to my grandmas because I haven't texted them in forever. They might as well be texting me off a toaster. Like they don't know how to um, navigate a phone. So I'm gonna write them a postcard. It'll be like a nice little surprise. It'll actually make their years. I'll basically probably just get the postcard, sit at a cafe, order a cafe, allongé, get a pastry. Also need to get flowers for my apartment because the ones that I have have been there since December. They're dried, but they're just outdated. They've, they've seen a lot, a lot being my tears, me crying alone in my apartment. They need to get out. It's spring. We need new, we need new spring vibes in the apartment. I paid for them and then I walked away without them and the man had to come out of the shop and he was like madame you left your goddamn flowers here you idiot but I got them oh they're so pretty okay me and the fleurs It is 
now my favorite time of the day, which is when I come home, I'm showered, I am no longer in public, I am laying in this little sunny patch on my bed, and I'm watching a movie. If someone happened to walk into my apartment right now, they might be a bit confused as to why there's a tripod with a camera right in front of my bed. It's a little silly. Um, nothing crazy going on here, just, just going to watch my movie. I'm watching Le Bonheur by Agnes Varda. It is a ride of a movie, let me tell you. It's crazy. I am watching it on Mubi, which is the sponsor of today's video. Let me tell you a little more about them. Mubi is for lovers of great cinema and for those who don't yet know they love great cinema. Mubi is a curated streaming service dedicated to elevating great cinema from around the globe. Over the past year and a half that I've been subscribed to Mubi, I have discovered so many amazing films, so many amazing directors that I would have never discovered otherwise. Every film is thoughtfully handpicked by one of Mubi's curators and they offer an explanation as to why watching this film may be worth your time, which I love because I'm very, very indecisive. It can be something by an iconic director like Martin Scorsese or an emerging auteur like Charlotte Wells. Obviously, if I get another opportunity to shout out my girl Agnes Varda, I'm gonna do so. Mubi is where I discovered Agnes Varda's films. She dabbled in an array of genres, whether it was documentary, drama, feminist piece, musical. Each one just offers such a different point of view on a subject that you may have not otherwise ever thought about. Her filmmaking just opened my mind in ways that few filmmakers have. And I'm very grateful for that. You can try Mubi for free for 30 days at Mubi.com slash Lauren. That's M-U-B-I dot com slash Lauren for a whole month of great cinema for free. Thank you so much to Mubi for sponsoring today's video. All right, guys, I am going to watch my movie now. I had a wonderful day, truly. I needed this. Me, when I partake in just the smallest, tiniest form of self-care, I needed this. And I did need this. This being today, just a nice, a nice day. Cause I don't, I don't have a lot of those sometimes. It was lovely taking you along with me. And remember, just sometimes you gotta take a day for you. And just do what makes you happy. Anyways, thank you for watching. I will see you guys soon. A bientôt, bisous. Au revoir. Just one look at you And I know it's gonna be A love